China is committing the worst genocide crime of the 21st century against Uyghurs. Dear audience, let me start with my personal story. I am an Uyghur and was born in East Turkestan, which has been occupied by China's communist regime since 1949. I went to England as a visiting mathematics scholar in 1988 and came to America in January 1990 as a graduate student to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I studied and worked very hard and was able to eventually make a good life by working as a data science professional in this wonderful land of opportunity and have been enjoying the greatest democracy on earth. This great country gave me a new life and I love America from the bottom of my heart. Even as a law-abiding US citizen, I've been suffering from China's communist regime for the last 30 years. To put the story short, I have completely lost contact with all my direct family members for almost four years. I have had absolutely no communication with the majority of my hundreds of relatives, close friends, and old colleagues for almost 10 years, most of whom are scientists, physicians, professors, higher level government officials, writers, artists, actors, and historians who have nothing to do with religious extremism. Over the years, my caring elder sister, a university mathematics professor, my brave father, veterans of East Turkestan Republic from 1944 to 1950. My smart younger brother, who used to work in railroad company. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, who is a veteran of East Turkestan Republic from 1944 to 1950. And my beloved mother passed away. The Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C. repeatedly refused to issue an entry visa for me and my wife to attend their funerals. I have had no text, email, letter communications with anyone in East Turkestan for years. I have no idea how many of my other relatives are still alive, but I do know that all of them are enduring certain higher degree of pain as the consequence of me being in America and standing up against China's atrocity towards Uyghurs. Just a few months ago, I heard my sister-in-law, retired head of regional pharmaceutical bureau. My niece-in-law, famous Uyghur dancer and university professor. My uncle, a retired veteran, and several close friends of mine passed away. I tried so hard to make phone calls to show my sincere condolence without any success. Until today, I have not been able to say some comforting words to my elder brother who has been suffering from losing his wife of 40 years of loving marriage. People who live in other parts of the world can easily communicate with each other in a matter of minutes with the convenience of modern technology. But China has been able to fully cut off the communication among Uyghurs all over the world. China 
has been extremely capable in silencing the resentment of Uyghurs to avoid criticism of the civilized world. Every single Uyghur I know has been enduring the same pain as I am in one way or the other. I would have no problem in listing the names of hundreds of them if I were allowed. It will certainly put their life in jeopardy if I do. As I speak now, according to various reliable sources, China has locked up around 3 million Uyghurs in Nazi-style concentration camps across East Turkestan. Millions of underage Uyghur children have been brainwashed in orphanage centers while their parents are being indoctrinated in what China claimed as vocational training centers or re-education schools. 500,000 Uyghurs have been transferred to inner provinces to receive further torture and persecution. Religious crackdown, enforced labor, compulsory abortion, involuntary sterilization, live organ harvesting, government pre-arranged bullying, raping, sponsored torturing, secret assassination, and the execution of Uyghurs is widespread across East Turkestan for many years. On top of this, millions of Uyghurs outside the prisons, including their relatives overseas, are under 24, 7, 365, round-the-clock, high-attack surveillance. Nearly all Uyghurs in the whole world live under consistent terror of persecution and suffering from psychological pain of losing communication with loved ones. I'm not talking about horror movie. Everything I listed above has been widely reported by Western governmental organizations. United Nations Commission on Human Rights, human rights organization in various countries, escapees from China's concentration camps, major media that has not been controlled by China's propaganda, and thousands of Uyghurs on social media. China's genocide act against humanity is a hardcore fact that's eyewitnessed by hundreds of people already. The genocide act is happening now in the 21st century while the whole world is silently watching. A new Nazi Chinese communist regime is in full strength to wipe out the Uyghur population and well prepared to conquer the free world if the chances is given to the fascist Chinese communist regime. Dear audience, it's time to punish communist China's terrorist regime to save the planet from the spread of the red terror virus. East Turkestan has been occupied by China for the last 70 years. The only way to save us is to recognize the independence of East Turkestan and support us to restore our independence. Save us America and the civilized world. Save Uyghurs from being eradicated from the face of the earth. East Turkestan has been occupied by China for the last 70 years. I say it again. The only way to save Uyghurs from genocide is to recognize the independence of East Turkestan and support us to restore our independence. 
Thank you. Tuğluk Abdurazak.